You're probably not going to get to see Stephen. Mm. So what do you want? What, what would you? What do you want to tell him? What? What do you? What do you, would you? What do you want to say to Stephen? Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you a little bit louder? Mm -hmm. I gotta, I'll put your mouth by that. Okay. Wait. What? What? What do you want to say, Jim? <laughs> what do you want to say to Stephen? <laughs> Come on. What do you want to say Thank to Stephen? Huh? Thank you for helping me, G. No, not that. What do you want to say to Kale? What do you want to say to your grandson? Oh. In case you can't, you don't get to see him. Oh, I see. I know. Oh, but we can't find him. But yeah. this is for you and for him. What would? What do you want to say to him if you see him? Pretend you're seeing him now. Come on, Jim. Do you love him? Oh, no. I know you do. You love your grandson, huh? Oh. No matter what he does, huh? He's all. You're always. Come on, Jim. You're always loving your grandson, huh? Jim. Unconditional, huh? Mm -hmm. Can you say I love you? Mm -hmm. Come on, a little bit. Can you say I love you? A little bit. Try. Come on. Okay, I think that's about as much as he's able to say right now. But, um, Stephen, if you see this or anybody, Stephen Kale O'Mara, he's in Seattle somewhere. It's his only grandson. Jim only has a daughter, and she had two kids, a boy and a girl. And his granddaughter and his daughter have been in touch, but we can't find his grandson, and, and he's asking for him. And um, Stephen, if you see this, doesn't matter anything. Come and see your grandpa, your granddad. He loves you, please. He's been asking for you. And anybody that sees this, can you share it around? Stephen Kale O'Mara in Seattle. Will you come see your grandpa, please? He's asking for you. He loves you.